Hello, I hope this video finds you well during this time of social isolation. So tonight is night six in my commitment to record one coding bat a night while we are off school. And whether you're a student of mine or just someone that's out there learning to code, please don't hesitate to send me any comments or questions. Um, I'm happy to help. All right, so we're going to look at Python warm up one makes 10. And the question says, given two ints, A and B, return true if one of them is 10 or if their sum is 10. And if we look at the example here, we see makes 10, 9, 10, returns true. And that's because the second parameter is 10. The second example, makes 10, 9, 9, returns false. And that's because neither of them are 10. And the sum of 9 and 9 isn't 10. And the third example makes 10, 1, 9, returns true, because when I add 1 and 9, I get 10. Now you'll see I have a little return statement here, and I wrote this in here just to kind of make sure we're really clear on a point, because I find sometimes students that are just learning how to do this sometimes aren't clear on this. I really want to make sure everyone's clear that this value, the first value, gets passed into parameter A, and the second value gets passed into parameter B. So if I hit go right now, this obviously isn't correct, but you'll see the first parameter is 9, so it returns 9. 9 returns 9. 1 returns 1. Um, it's just one of those things that I notice sometimes beginning programmers aren't fully clear on. All right. So in order to solve this, I actually made a little flowchart. So here's the logic. And I'll show this in both the Python version and the Java version, which I'm going to record in a moment. So we have the function starts, we have a as a passed value, b as a passed value, and we have our first if statement. And we say if a is equivalent to 10, or b is equivalent to 10, and if that's true, we're going to return true, and then end. And if that's false, and I have arrow and multi-directions there, let's clean that up really quickly. And I, like I said, I'm just going to clean this up really quickly. There we go. Enough. Um, and if it's false, then we check if the sum of them are 10. And if that's true, we return true. And if neither of these pass, we end up at the very end and we return false. And so the first way to do this is to code it with two if statements and then a catch-all return. So our first if statement we say is if A is equivalent to 10 or B is equivalent to 10. We're going to return true. And then our second if statement is going to be if A plus B is equivalent to 10. We're going to return true. And if neither of those are true, we're going to return false. And there it is. So this is approach one. And again, like I always say, um, students will often try to do these in as short as possible code segment. And that's, that's fun. But again, it's really important you can write this out um, long form. But I'm going to now one line this. So I'm going to comment all this out. And a couple things that I notice here is I notice that if this statement is true, I return true. And if this statement is true, or if this statement is true, I return this one. So what I can do is I can simply put a return statement down here. And I can take this first statement, and I can paste it. And I'm going to put an or here, because let's just put brackets around this. You don't need them, but I like to put brackets around sometimes just to help us see how this works. So if this is true, or if that's true, and then it works perfectly fine because essentially what it's going to do is it's going to evaluate if either of those ifs Boolean expressions are true, we return true, and if that evaluates to false, we get false. So just a closing idea here is don't discount brackets. In Boolean expressions. The reason why is because when you get into more complicated ones, sometimes the order of operations can be a little messy or you might have a little error somewhere. And brackets work just like in math where it's going to force that it will evaluate this, evaluate this, and then compare those two. And sometimes little bits can cause, it can look perfectly correct, but the order that it's evaluating can be different. And if you ever want to be sure, just put brackets in. I hope this video helped. Have a great day.